Get everyone, Nathan here at Glass for Classics. We're gonna run you through today, fitting the runners onto your HKTG Holden Coupe Monaro front door glass. Very, very straightforward task. Now, before we actually get started, a couple of very basic things. Orientation of the runners, very easy to put them on backwards. Uh, if you've already gone ahead and taken these off your originals and had these tidied up, the customer has already done so with these. Now, guide wheels, they go to the back of the door glass. If you have a look at the back, it's a slightly squarer edge than on the front edge, which tapers away to meet the vent window. Basically, the runner is going to sit evenly spaced between the front and the back edge of the door glass, and the guide wheels go to the outside of the vehicle. They go on the outside facing the external door skin. Don't accidentally get them backwards. If they do, if you look at it, have a slight radius in it so you can tell which way it tapers with the door glass. Now, Rare spares and a few of the others, they do an aftermarket rubber for this. It is the correct profile. It is very tight to get it on, but it does work. Now, if you actually have a look at this up close, there is a larger tab on one side and a slightly smaller tab on the other. The larger tab goes towards the outside of the vehicle. When we sit this on, you'll see the larger tab is actually going to sit over this flap here, which again faces, faces the outside of the vehicle. So, grab yourself a, just a marker pen. All you need to do, line this up and get it central on the glass. All we're going to do is mark where the edge of the runner comes to on each end. You just need a reference once you've got it on there. We're going to move that out of the way now. Remembering, large flap, outside of the glass. We're going to sit this on now. You are going to have to lubricate this. You can use a few different things. I wouldn't recommend using dishwashing liquid or detergent because it will stay there permanently and you risk it accidentally pulling off. To be honest, we're just using a bit of Naked Glass or Windex just as a lubricant for this. Everybody's got some. Just give it a light squirt. Okay. Lining this up. Remembering this goes to the back edge. Start at the front here. We're going to start this here with a rubber mallet. You don't want to hit this too hard. You want to start here to get this sitting in place in line. Work your way, now that you've got that sitting there, work your way along gently. Do not hit this too hard. You will bend it and the guide wheel will get caught halfway along. That is done. The temptation with this is to keep pounding at home. If you come in close, the bottom of the rubber and the glass do not actually sit on the bottom of the runner. If you keep trying to knock it home, you're gonna find that your glass ends up five mil short and does not reach the roof rail. Now that that's done, all you're gonna to have to do, grab a razor blade, trim off the little bit of excess because this is where your Bailey channels in the front edge of the door are going to be sitting. So you don't want it to foul those as it's going up and down. Trim that off. And that's done. Do the same on the back edge. That is now 100% finished. You can fit that straight in. You don't need to wait. What I would recommend though, when you do get the final adjustment in this sitting in the door, these guide wheels, in the back, use bearing grease. Everyone's got a tin of bearing grease sitting around for the trailer hubs. Use the bearing grease on these. If you use any lithium greases like white grease, they did use it from the factory. The issue is that they require movement. Without movement, it, it dries out and it goes crusty. By using the bearing grease, it will not dry out. It will make it a much smoother operation on the final install. So, for this and any others, if you want to have a look at how to fit the vent windows into frames, check out our other video. We do supply the brand new glass for the HKTG Coupe Monaros. We generally always have it in stock. So feel free to send us an email to inquiries at glassforclassics.com.au or give us a quick call on 1300 442 000. Talk to you soon.